What's up everybody? Welcome back to Jay's Car Channel. This is video number 11 on this 2005 Crown Victoria Police Interceptor. Doing a real quick oil change on it. So I'm gonna try to keep this video short and sweet before I get into it. If you guys haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell so each time I drop a new video, you guys will be aware. And also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Really appreciate that. So let's get into what you need to do an oil change on a Crown Victoria from 1998 to 2011. I'll leave links to everything in the description. So first thing you need is a nice ratchet with a 16 millimeter socket on the end of it. I've also got something to help me to see underneath the vehicle. This is a headlamp, this is a scan grip. I like to wear gloves when I'm doing oil changes. I don't understand the number of oil change videos I've seen people doing without gloves on, but regardless, I always try to keep my skin protected from the oil so got that also got coveralls but it's a little warm today so i may just go with a regular t-shirt all right car is up on ramps these are rhino ramps i've also got a nice little creeper down here and i've got a flattened cardboard box this will help you to move around a lot easier and it will help to keep oil off of your driveway number one benefit also got your filter here this is the ford motorcraft FL820S, got my sockets, and I've got filter wrench attachment here, got my Mobile One 5W20, 6 quarts, got a little funnel too. You want the oil to flow freely when you're draining it, so getting the engine up to a decent temperature is a good idea. Mind you, you don't want it scalding, so I let it sit after I've gotten it up on the ramps for a few minutes before I go to draining it. Also, I take the cap out for helping it to flow better. And you need something to drain the oil into. So here's my big container here. I think it's 10 quarts. Your drain plug is on this pan right here on the driver's side, right behind this cross member. Again, it's a 16 millimeter bolt. Make sure your socket is adjusted to turn left. Lefty Lucy. There we go. As you loosen it up, you should be able to turn this by hand before it comes out. Make sure you shift the container over. Nope. Unsuccessfully dropped the bolt in there. Once the dripping slows down to a minimum, you can go ahead and put the drain bolt back in. Should get it snug. Maybe get it about an eighth of a turn. Should be good to go. Again, wipe this area so you'll know if you have any leaks. The oil filter is located in front of the cross member on the driver's side. Get the container underneath before you loosen it because a lot of oil will come out. Now this is a strange angle. Hopefully you can see what's going on here. You gotta break this loose. So I got the filter off. Now it's a matter of trying to get it through this little tight space I'm trying to keep it face up here Put this straight down there we go so now my filter's off there's a couple things i want to make sure that the gasket is still on the filter the old filter which it is you can see it right there if that's missing that means your gasket is probably stuck to the housing you want to make sure you remove that with a screwdriver flathead screwdriver or something you can probably just use your hand you don't want to leave that gasket on there and try to attach a new filter because that can cause leaks and problems. So check that before you do anything to install the new filter. But now that we've got all this off, I'm probably just going to clean up some of this the shop rag. You guys don't need to see that, but next step will be installing the filter, the new filter. Once you get your new filter out, dip your finger into some oil and rub it on the gasket to help it to seal properly. 
just like with the old filter, I'm going to point this filter up to get it up through the little tight areas here. And then basically you're going to hand tighten this onto the engine. I don't use the wrench attachment or anything. I'll basically just hand tighten it. So now that we've drained the oil fully and replaced the oil filter, it's time to fill your oil. And if you turn the container sideways, you'll be able to pour it a lot better. So this is the five quart jug here. I've also got an additional quart that I'm going to use to fill this. Now that the oil has been changed, I'm going to start the vehicle and I'm going to check the oil pressure gauge and make sure that it goes up to a normal range. And just listen to the motor and make sure everything sounds good and check for leaks. Yep, everything looks good. Oil pressure, oil temp, no irregular sounds. And I'm gonna get outside the vehicle and check for leaks and then uh, get down off the ramps and then check the levels and adjust as necessary. But that's pretty much it. Thanks again for watching. See you guys on the next one.